by the way, did you stream my game? I did stream your game, yes, or uh, recorded it actually. Okay, perfect. Okay, so we are live again with the champions of Westeros and we are going to be watching game two of uh, Baratheon against Greyjoy. The game has just started. As you can see, it's uh, Ilya Muromes for Baratheon against Putlong Stefan for Team Greyjoy. And I am joined by Alexander from Team Greyjoy. Good evening to you. Good evening and hi everyone. Yeah, so big win for you in the first game. That's one where I thought we maybe could get a win with a strong deck. And I think the pressure now is on us to win this one. Yes, uh, lucky me, I found the answers in, in, in the last game and uh, I could play my, my game then. I was a bit uh, worried about his uh, kneeling and his um, location with uh, Stop Smile characters from kneeling, but uh, at the end it was fine. Yeah, Black Cell's gone in round one. It was really tough to yeah. see for us. Okay, so on this occasion we have Battle of the Trident for Baratheon. That's an interesting deck that did win the first game where uh, Steven played it. And we have Alliance, and this is Banner Stag and Free Companies. So as you can see already we have that uh, Salt Cliff Sailor that is such an excellent bestow card. And we have Bagging Brother. And judging by this, Coranes at Mantis here, I guess we'll see some Cell Sails as well and maybe uh, try to kneel Baratheon's characters in several phases. Yeah, I think um, Ivilo is a very experienced uh, Battle of the Trident player. Uh, he, he played the agenda since its release in several tournaments and I guess he's uh, very experienced. And uh, yeah. I'm, it's, I'm uh, uh, curious to see how, how it goes here. Yeah. We'll see. Uh, we did take two copies of this. Uh, some players liked it and the uh, first one was successful and as you can see there's some the seven characters here that uh, have the army trait so it's uh, really useful you can play the seven uh, team and have the armies and the commanders as you can see Bonifer is a commander and uh, that allows you to trigger the agenda and you can do the synergies that the seven trait has with uh, stuff like uh, brother's robes and the star Sept. yeah 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 Big milk also here on Korane at the start. Ah, uh, that milk hurts. Mm -hmm. uh, only cheap characters, but uh, six characters on the board on on Ivalo side. Um, small characters and Koran and Big Brothers on Stefan's side. Yeah, and a good chance to refill the hand with Bonifer if he can attack with uh, the Holy Hundred, they would both have insight. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Losing a nice play, I guess. Mm. That was interesting to see what, uh, what resets you could play in Battle of the Trident. No Vala, but uh, Wildfire is sold for sure. Yeah, that's uh, um, one of the options. I think the only other thing you can do is to play Mad King's Command. Yeah. That only works really in the plot phase because it uh, resolves at the start of challenges, so you can't flip into it with uh, the agenda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there is nothing Stefan can do here against the, the insight from the two characters. Yeah. And he can't, can't stop the agenda trigger either. Now this takes a bit of practice. So uh, someone who has never played Trident, I guess, will not really be aware of all the tricks the agenda can do. And uh, I myself am not very experienced with this agenda, so... But you have to uh, take into account that there could be a surprise wildfire assault at any point. There could be a march to the wall. There could be a pointy end, reinforcements, duel, stuff like that. Um, yeah. Siege preparations also, which is obviously not needed at this point. I guess he is pretty safe from wildfire, obviously. And uh, I wonder what he is uh, tr going to trigger. 
or if he is going to trigger. Yeah, it's not mandatory. You, you can just uh, not use it. We've seen yeah. that, I guess, with Martel in uh, back a few months back in the China versus Europe Championship where they played it just to get uh, plots in the used pile. Didn't really trigger it that much in challenges. Basically used it like wars. And here we go. This is one wow. of the options. Heads on spikes and fortunately for Greyjoy, it's a really nice target here in Salador Sun. Um, I guess it's one of the of the more important cards in Stefan's deck. Maybe not the most important card, but he surely is not happy seeing this dead pile. Yeah, definitely not. No gold left for Silisi, so uh, no way to, to win this intrigue challenge. And now mm. the question is, does he want dominance or does he want the two cards by putting both of these characters into the power challenge? I would go for the cards personally, especially since the two strength uh, Holy Hundred, of course, is not going to be enough to win dominance. It will be tied. Yeah, Dom is tight, and I guess uh, should have taken the card here. And power on poor fellows. That could be potentially, of course, going away. Now, Greyjoy Alliance is a bit more versatile in the resets, so if it's kept at five cost with uh, characters like Korana and Salador Sun, then. It could potentially play the Harris. Yeah. Because uh, Begging Brother and uh, Salt Cliff Sailor and, uh, for instance, Cell Cells are all non unique. Okay, so not getting the unopposed power because Salt Cliff Sailor defends and then he gets. Uh... Now, what happened here? Near the faction card. Huh. Okay, so using it on uh, Saltcliffe Sailor, which can of course then uh, feed other bestow cards. That's basically like a permanent Bagging Brother, which is permanent yeah. anyway with three companies. Yeah. So he, he chose uh, three companies as his, um, as his second banner. So I guess uh, now not only here to to jump in some Greyjoy cars. This would be an option as well. Mm, okay. Stefan going first with some more Neil here. And he can Neil two characters, but it's not so great because it will be probably for poor fellows and uh, the hunting party. And on the first side, it doesn't seem that this was the best option. Yeah, and interesting to see Core Silisi here. Uh, very important to have her actually because uh, the intrigue icon is weak in Baratheon with this agenda. Uh, none of the armies and commanders have it, which is uh, important yeah. to be able to trigger it because Edict is uh, a good trait. Siege is the one that uh, has the fewest options, I think, but the power is the strongest icon. But Silisi can, of course, give commanders like uh, Bonifer the icon or the king's hunting party. Yeah, I don't think we will see a king on uh, Stefan's side, so... The hunting party will not have its its intrigue icon. <laughs> yeah, that but was a nice surprise in the first game, actually, when Steven played it. Uh, I don't remember who it was against, actually, but there was a surprise king on the other side that made a huge difference. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's um, why I thought of um, Renly. He's king as well, so... But uh, we were not going to see him, I guess. And this is interesting. Stannis's cavalry with uh, two gold. That's a card you rarely see. But um, the two cost actually uh, does block Saltcliffe Sailor and uh, the Smuggler. And um, it's a passive text. So Pegging Brother cannot stop it. Yeah. Pegging Brother can only stop 
to move more gold to it. Yeah, which probably is not going to happen. Yeah. I think this time probably Selisi will spend the gold for the intrigue icon. Which can be cancelled, of course, it's one of the, the few triggered abilities here that uh, Begging Brother can cancel. There is no limit to Selisi, but uh, it obviously she is limited by the amount of gold you have available. Yeah. And we have a card in Shadows. Mm, Greyjoy Banner Stag. What could that be? Could be Pinch of Powder. Or the Night Flyer. Yeah, could be. Or the Great Hall to to make the reset more impactful. I guess uh, Stefan has to play in reset next round or not. The reducer taken for claim. That gives uh, Stefan some power on the faction card that can potentially be stolen. Ah. I think he could try uh, with Celisi now. I think she would be cancelled. Unless he is saving that gold for something else. <laughs> Can we consider desperate attack as a reset? Asks Marcel. Well, if you can somehow get uh, some huge claim military, but uh, Martel has that trick, of course, where they can uh, flip into it on another challenge type with uh, at Prince Duran's behest. And then yeah. they can still do military. Other factions, unfortunately, have to do military because it's uh, war traded. They flip into it and then they can do power for three claim. Uh, losing Lightbringer, having already lost Robert, I guess. Uh, that was the, the play he could have done, but now. Not so bad. And lots of uh, power gained here. Yeah. Two unopposed, one claim, and Dom. Making making four power here. And maybe there Five is power. even a Five second power. heads and spikes to come. That would be annoying for Stefan if that hit again. Is it allowed to, to have two copies of? Yes, there is no okay. restriction. So, okay. Usually, uh, players go for uh, for the realm because yeah, um, the economy is difficult. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, here we go. Desperate attack. Okay, so he wants to empty his hand. Yeah, that's fair enough at this stage, I think. If a reset yeah. comes, then... Uh, so we are at 11 power at Ivalo's house card, at Ivalo's account, at 0 power at Stefan's account at the end of the round. I counted exactly. Yes, and... Uh, Saltcliffe Sailor will, will uh, remain knelt because of the cavalry, probably. Okay, but uh, he uh, protects his hand. If he ends with Orane, uh, Satmantis, however you, you pronounce it, uh, it's very, very, very good card, I guess. Yes, that's. Um, that could be very important in the remainder of the game, keeping these cards in hand. But still, he is on the back foot. Now, there will be two claim power. Question is, can he do a productive reset that uh, kills most of uh, the board here? Obviously, Bonifer is protected and... Uh, 
He will gain a, an additional card for inside here. Yeah. We still do not know the card in Shadows. I, for myself, think it's uh, that film. Oh, so, if you want to play it, now would be the best. Or maybe it was not. It is not Night Flyer. Yeah, it's not Old Bill Bone because that would have, uh, I think, already been uh, triggered. Yeah. Yeah. So Hagen's daughter, pinch of powder. Not sure. So I guess Mogul is incoming. Stefan's side, and yeah. let's see what is what it is on Ivalo's side. It is possible to play Return to the Fields. Hmm. What do we have here? Beyond Reproach. That's uh, going to get rid of Traitor and Milk. Mm -hmm. So now Kurane can uh, kneel something if he wants to, but then it's a problem because uh, he is one of the few characters that are uh, available for challenges. And we have a two claim plot on the other side effectively because so many of the board, of course, is uh, the seven traded. Yeah. And Ivalo happy to go second here because he wants power on the faction card to steal back. Oh, this uh, is, is very hard to come back for Stefan. He was very unlucky with uh, economy, only seeing that one Rose Road. He did not see any other limited location in his uh, two rounds. And Vargo Hout sees play. He, of course, with the agenda has permanent gold, basically. But what can he do here? So, is there any good um, keywords? He already has dealt because of the Saltcliffe Sailor. And he can gain insight but not renown at the moment. Mm. <clears throat> and I'm not sure if it is if it would be a good idea to attack to do any to do uh, any challenges in Stefan's on Stefan's side. Yeah, it's dangerous. It could be game over if uh, yeah. two claim power hits. Also, interesting interaction. So, Saltcliffe Sailor can move power to characters you control. So, it cannot move power to uh, Stannis' cavalry, but Vargo could potentially do that to mess it up a little bit. But it would need to yeah. be, I think, four gold on it because that's the, the sweet spot where there are no targets. Mm -hmm. Okay, it looks like Stefan has an action here. And something big coming in, Stannis mm -hmm. and well protected. So now, mm -hmm. unless there is actually Valor Duharis in the deck, I think this is uh, going but to be I tough guess to win. Even Valor. So here just wouldn't change anything. Ivalo can keep his uh, his low cost characters if uh, Stefan plays to Harris and he can keep his big guys if Stefan plays Mogulis. So I'm afraid this is basically over. Yeah, not looking good. So this time he needs Stannis. Now Defiance is cost zero, if I'm not mistaken, so yeah. could be used again, but there are no warships. Unless there is one in Shadows. But now also no gold. Yeah, so I think pass and hope for some miracle next round. Try to defend the two challenges, but then I think again I would attack with uh, 
Barney Fair and the Holy Hundred and try to get yeah. the two cards for inside. And it's uh, it feels itself if you never really run out of cards that way in this particular deck. And it works in uh, Fate Militant as well, which also we played in this tournament already and won. It's, um, but Bratton uh, has a, a strong the seven deck for sure at the moment, especially because of this uh, insight on, on Bonifer. Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, that's a big, a big point. <laughs> Pegging brother is going to try to cancel all the Silices. There is no limit, so you could trigger her again if you don't need the gold. Force Begging Brother to do it again. Mm -hmm. Okay, actually we have a true claim here. Seven, um, so I guess. Ah, uh, that does not that, that does not look very well for Stefan. Sadly, in my opinion. Well, maybe he could play Wildfire Assault. That would be uh, that would level the board a little bit. Yeah. Okay, so he's put uh, the seven character into this challenge to make it two claim. Yeah, and to um, draw draw maybe two cards with poor fellows. Huh? Okay, now yeah, um, Stefan can um, can cancel it and then move one gold from Saltcliff Sailor to Bacon Brother again and cancel the, the next um, Sally Say. Trigger. Yes, and also has one gold on Vargo, which he could put on the Bacon Brother. And then. Oh, he yeah. forgot to. No, he didn't. He... Yeah. It's gone to bed. And then he's out of cancels, but there is still Stannis, of course, who can draw for the power challenge, and that will be two cards because it's two claim. Yeah. So let's see what reset is coming on Stefan's side now. I mean, Ivalo drew very well. Uh, this uh, duped, this duped Stannis is uh, hard to overcome. <laughs> Again, he has defiance to stop the yeah. to claim intrigue. There are so many characters standing, maybe um, Ivalo actually could have uh, made sure to, to win this, even against Defiance. But okay, he can uh, still win power and draw some cards for that. Yeah. And uh, then after claim, you can, of course, uh, flip the plot if you like, so if he pl flips into March to the Wall, that's uh, another problem for Stefan. Oh, oh, into the drawing plot. Yeah, siege preparations. Uh, oh, that... but with only four uh, reserve, maybe not that good decision. Alright, so siege on the power challenges, so siege preparations is theoretically possible, but uh, March to the Wall was only possible on the intrigue. Yeah, but he didn't apply climb. He didn't apply climb, climb so he couldn't uh, figure. Out. 
Yeah, because there was nothing on the faction card. You should still uh, should still click on apply claim even if it is um, if there is no power or no characters to kill. Ivaldo is just asking why his agenda is not triggering, uh, but it, it uh, didn't trigger because he uh, didn't play climb. He uh, normally claim is forced, but I don't know why uh, on the Iron Throne you have to choose, um, you, you can choose to not apply claim, and uh, he chose that, and so his agenda didn't trigger. Yeah, that's um, been there basically for a long time just to help players if they mess up yeah. to um, uh, uh, manually correct the board state somehow. Ah, there is the Harris, but uh, as you said, uh, even if Stannis goes, there are still uh, three or four characters that will survive this, and uh, Stefan has to lose one. Yeah, only one, one character on Stefan's side, and I guess he keeps at least three characters, maybe four. Yeah, I would keep Bonifer, the Holy Hundred, Poor Fellows, and the Reducer. And that's exactly what he has done. So he still has mm -hmm. uh, he still has the two characters with insight. Silici gone, unfortunately. But still, no economy on on uh, Stefan's side. He can't he can't do anything impactful now. He has to fight the King's Row to to set up. To marshal a big guy. Okay, he tries to manage to marshal seized, but it's only on non limited locations. Yeah. Can't stop the Great Hall. He could use Korana to yeah. kneel a character and Great Hall. Right, if he had cell cells, he could kneel two characters in two locations in theory, but it's not a great situation still. Maybe he should have used Iran in uh, in standing phase, kneeling Bonifa, and keep the Begging Brothers and uh, on board. So King's Road in hand anyway. No real way to block this economy and something big coming in. Ooh, the huge army. I like the new armies. <laughs> yeah, this one right. doesn't see that much play in Baratheon, but in this agenda, I guess, with the army trait, very useful. Okay. Stefan is about to proceed and he already. Yeah, too much. There's pressure well, right at the start. <laughs> nothing to do. N nothing nothing to do on Stefan's side. Didn't draw any answers to to eat here. And, yeah, it, uh, it was an interesting deck, so we see uh, the smugglers were in the deck and Saltcliffe Seller and some bestow stuff. So I wonder what the exact plan was. I know that Korane can have a big control element if he can kneel yeah. in several phases, if you can stand him, which he could do with Defiance. Yeah. And then Salder Sun also uh, chokes some economy, gets you some gold potentially. Uh, but he was lost with that heads and spikes. Yeah, it was a, it was a, bit, a big, uh, big hit and uh, Ivalo played, played it flawless. Yeah, very nicely done. So this is yeah. a big win now for Baratheon, as you can see. So the first one hasn't been updated, but actually Peter did lose uh, the first game against uh, Alexander. And uh, now we have uh, the win in the second game. So it's 1-1 ahead of the game that is uh, coming up in about uh, 27 minutes. So yes. um, will you be joining me for that one? 
Unfortunately not. I would love to see this. I uh, do like watching games of Alex. He's always nice decks and he's always playing very well. But um, I have to go. Well, that's that. But uh, uh, there will be other games tomorrow and Sunday coming up as well. So if you have time, you are welcome to join me again. I give you a ping. It, it was fun. Thanks for, for hosting me. All right, and to all of our viewers as well, thanks for joining us this time, and we'll see you in 25 minutes or so. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.